Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. All the ships are in position. Our army is in position. We are ready for war. So, let's work out what we're going to do first. What I think we do... I'm just trying to think. So does this have a... This does not have a defensive station. Hmm. Okay. So I'd like to somehow protect both of these at the same time. I think what I do is I move this fleet in here. Spin it round after it takes this place. Move it back. Then I move my army in here and that takes the first... Um, like, that takes the first planet. Okay. Apparently that's also their home world currently. Interest. Oh no, that also says home world. That also says home world. Oh, wait, no, that would take me to there. I see, if I do this, it takes there, it all takes me to the same world. I understand. Anyway, um, so yeah, we go in here, we come back out. Then I think we just send this one all the way around. Well, I don't know. It's, it's interesting thinking about the best strat. Maybe we move it back. Hmm. I guess I need to see where their navy is. They, wait, do they even have a navy? Maybe I'm over planning this. I just realized they might not actually have a navy. Uh, where are Codronites? Codronite Star Realm. Where where is their can I see their current strength from It's from economy, from tech. It doesn't tell me how much they have from otherwise. Do, does uh, fleet power on ours it has, it has right at the top, right? Fleet power on theirs it doesn't just doesn't have. You know what? I just figured out something. I don't believe they actually own a fleet. This might make this very easy. Alright. Hello. I wish to declare war. Conquer. That seems good, right? Yeah. Let's declare. Right. And let's see what people say about it. Are you in? Wait. To what? war. Oh, to war. They, they were they did not need a moment to think about it. Alright, so you're heading in here. Alright, wait a second, so we're actually at war. Right, we're at war now? Yeah, there we go. You go in here. You go in there and then spin around to this one. You are gonna head directly into there. You're gonna head in here. And they don't actually have a navy, so we could actually just start by going like this. And then doing something like that. Yeah, and you move up here. Go. Let's unpop. Well, let's make it faster. Yeah. So they still don't have any ships. I think I might have taken their shipyards in the previous war. That might have exp that might explain it. Yeah, I might have taken all their shipyards. If they have no shipyards, how are they going to get any ships? Especially if we destroyed all their construction ships as well. I suppose they could just build star bases, enemy station. but they would need to actually have influence to do that, which they probably don't Engaging have. Enemy station. Yeah, so that one's now been taken. Awesome. So you, I now want to head up here and kind of do like this little circuit around the top. We'll see where things end up and I want that one to come in here. We'll see. We're, they're probably going to overlap somewhere. Um, Galactic Bavi is going to be the one that we actually need to deal with, but hopefully, looking at it, all their land goes directly into um, enemy terror. Like, all, all the land that they have goes into this territory, minus this singular province over here, or a singular system over here that has 1,000 um, fleet. So we should be fine. We'll see, though. 1,000 is barely enough to actually be, you know, a non up Like, it's barely enough to be our non-upgraded star base, at, which has 500 power, so... Yeah. I'll be interested to see what happens there. Right, back over here. So we've taken that one. You've now taken this one, so I want you to head in here. You're going around this way, and when I want you to head into that one, and then head up. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Awesome. And then basically it's just this thing's job to go around and get every planet one by one. Ideally I'd like to probably half its size, but that's okay. You're heading down here. Uh, I've actually changed my mind. You're going to head down here. And you are going to head um, up this way. Yeah. Because you can. It's okay. I just noticed, does that have something on it? No, I think that's just a random 
Say, that's just a random sign. Okay, I don't think that actually means anything. Okay, so you're heading that way. Awesome. Technology I believe they've already done this archaeological site, but I'm not 100% sure, because why would it still be showing up? If it's still showing up, maybe that means they haven't done it yet. Uh, let's grab this one. Cool. You're heading down. Oh, you need to be given a new job. And then now that you've arrived, need you to... Oh, there are two planets here? Oh, it's not a planet. It's a um, orbital habitat. I see. Well, how defended could it be, really? That's fine. Over here, we're heading to get the last one. Liberation forces. That one also has a planet. Hmm. Okay, well, if you got the intellectual trait, that's okay. Get rid of all of these. Right. Um, armies. Oh, they, they are they are screwed. Okay. Colony conquered. Yes, we conquered that one. Now head over here and get this one. There are only two here, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I'm just working out where we need to jump. We should probably jump between these systems first, and then we'll probably have the jump back up by the time it's time to move over here or here. We'll think about it, though. See what we've got going on. So you've taken that one now. Right, so it's now your job to head here. Yeah, it's going to take you 300 days, but that's okay. You've done your job that you needed to do. Okay. So you are heading up to the next one. You are now done. You, I'm going to send up here. We'll see what happens when you actually arrive. Right, uh, so... You are now going up there. You have no job. So you're going around the outside. So what I'm going to do is send you on the exact opposite route. So something like that. And see what happens. Deploying liberation forces. Uh, what's this? Election? Oh, I don't care. I don't care who wins the election. Doesn't affect me. Arrested development trait. That trait is absolutely neutral. By neutral, I mean it's bad if you actually care about your governor. My governor's... It doesn't matter. As long as they're not actively making crime happen, to be honest, they can do what they like. Not a great uh, policy overall, I'd say, for political leaders, Technology but, you know, discovered. for us, it's working. Uh, here, yeah, we'll go for another one there in energy weapons. Colony conquered. Nice. So we've now conquered that colony. You do not have one. You have two. Okay. Wait, you really don't have one? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is jump here to get us there very quickly. We have a death of a scientist who is on what ship? Uh, the Foundling. All right, yeah, I remember the Foundling. That was a while ago. Um, yeah, let's get, I don't know, you. And then you can assist research. Sure, that's fine. Uh, clear that. That's uh, will to power. Did that say? Yeah, monthly influence. That's all right. And then the other one is scientific revolution. All right, that's the one that gives us extra um, tech. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Wait, did we just finish the one here? Oh, wait, you're jumping. I see. You did actually... Yeah, you did take that. That's okay. Jump in four days. And... There they are. Right. Oh, there's actually f uh, three here? That's crazy. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, I assume that there are claims over here. I never actually checked, but I assume that somebody's claimed all of that stuff. Yeah, I want you to head over here as well, just in case. You're probably not going to be necessary. Ooh, we actually got this one. Uh, who was heading over there? Uh, you are no longer necessary, and I want you to head here. Cool. That's fine. Just to be in position if we need them. We'd still need to send the army if we were doing anything. Wait, did you just... Have you taken it or you, you haven't landed yet? I see. Deploying liberation forces. Wow. Okay, I guess they did not have any defenders. If it has no... Yeah, if it has no defenders, I assume we just land and that's it. Hey, we gained unity because we uh, succeeded. Uh, Sokka is our new leader. I believe they were our previous leader and they want energy infrastructure. Okay, cool. We'll have that one. That planet, I'm meaning. Orbital habitat. Deploying liberation forces. I love how they all have to land in it. It's like, oh yeah, it's ours. They didn't actually defend it. 
All right, this one has defenders. So that'll take a little bit longer. Okay, cool. Are we looking? Minus 1,000? Yeah, I suppose we did claim an awful lot from them. Uh, Senate is now in session. Yes, I voted yes on this thing. You're not allowed to kill a Tayanki. Deploying liberation Whatever a Tayanki forces. is. That's okay. Technology I wasn't discovered. planning on killing any. Food from jobs went up. Let's get that again. Continue just piling into food from jobs until we can actually uh, afford to feed everyone again. Which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, just wait and see if anybody's moving across anywhere. Don't see anyone over this side yet, so I assume we're fine. Oh, we've taken all of this. Complete. Uh, yeah, so now that that's done, I'm actually just going to send you home. There's return. There's return. There we go. Also the hotkey B. No. Uh, oh, you don't have a home base? Oh, your home base is a unit. And you don't have a leader? Oh, we can do that as well. I, I choose you. Robot leader. Yeah, please return home. Nice. That works for me. So is that 5th Fleet? That is 5th Fleet, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because 5th Fleet colony is the one that was just conquered. created. Wonderful! So we got the colony. Uh, please head on in here and get us this one. Right. It should be off doing that. Uh, we're full on consumer goods, so we can now sell a bunch of those. Yep, I can see the next problem already. Don't worry about it. So now we're going to buy some of this. There we go. Right. I still don't know what we're doing with that, but that's okay. Maybe the final, uh, you know, end game crisis is we need lots of this thing. And then we can go, well, ha ha. Well, aren't you in luck? We are just full to the brim with this thing. No one will be really happy. We have another intellectual. Okay. Cool. Uh, how are you doing over here? Oh, you're still making your way over? Because the game is paused, things aren't actually happening? Alright, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the first things I learned about the game. If it's not on pause, things won't happen. And yet, still. I assume this one has no defenders. Yep, seems to be the way. Deploying liberation forces. Oh? No, they had defenders, never mind. Okay, they're also trying to get spiritualist ethics attraction. What's up with that? Okay, well, we'll grab them any second there. Colony conquered. Right, over here. Uh, land armies. Perfect. I do like our little army swarm that just goes around and captures places for us. You're getting much closer to our goals. Over here, we claim that one. Uh, these guys, I don't think, have quite enough strength to go in here, which is why they're holding off. Yeah. Where are our fleets? Do we have any fleets that are even over this side yet? Not really. Deploying liberation forces. Mm. I think I might build a gateway in, Co in Codranil, although there's no reason to go there after what we've done. But, you know, it might be a good place to go eventually. Technology discovered. Does this actually have a planet? Yeah, it has one. That is annoying, because it's kind of out of the way. The rest of them aren't out. Oh wait, this one has a planet as well, doesn't it? Oh, it's two. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, so we can just fly our way up there and then jump that direction. That'll probably work. Okay, fair Colony enough. Conquered. So we've now conquered everything here. Yep. Alright, into this one. Go and conquer. They have so many orbital habitats. They've gone crazy. Is this the right strategy that what the AI is using? Just spam orbital habitats? I mean, I suppose it could work. I mean, it didn't work for them, but you know. I suppose if you don't have an infinite supply of, um, well, everything, you, you might think that orbital habitats are a good way of getting some extra resources. Yeah, I could see it. I mean, we have a few, we just don't use them that much. Uh... Sorry, I'm looking at monthly gain compared to... Oh, never mind, I was looking at the wrong number. That's okay. We have a corrupt one. Ugh. And you're adaptable. Okay, which one's corrupt? This one. Okay, uh, what do you currently lead? 
I do this, don't I? Yeah, it's probably not the right button, but it worked. Sort of. Right, I can then replace the you with somebody who looks a lot like you, but at the same time is not corrupt. Right. Get rid of all of those. And carry on. So, these guys are still flying over. They're kind of in the right, uh, they're in the right zone now. Looks like they are actually taking over these places, which is good. We still probably need to send our army over eventually, but that's all right. We can do that. Is there a way of splitting your army in half? Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's easy enough. I thought there wasn't for a second there. You. I'm going to jump you, because we actually don't need this size of an army to fight these guys. I'm going to jump you over there. And then the other army is heading up that way. That's good. Yeah, I think that works better. And then we can get both of these at the same time. That'll work well. So you're still heading over. That's fine. We should still have one on this side heading over. Maybe. I see once they get like another forces. two systems in, we'll be good. Uh, so this is our invasion here. That should be nice and simple. You've arrived in a new place. Please go and conquer. Perfect. Right. Back over here. Alright, so we are now... Yeah, one system from jumping. One system. Nothing too bad. So you're still making your way across, I think. Deploying liberation forces. Hey, you're now done. Is that the first one or the second? That's the first one. Okay, go grab this one. And then actually head in here. Can I do this? Yeah, plus orders. Fantastic. Uh, could probably have done it to the one in here if they weren't already, you know, fighting. It's not even going to be that slow, comparatively, because you can only have seven in the front line anyway. So, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Back over here. Yeah, uh, you are now within range. I think you should jump uh, in here, straight into Biv. Let's try that again. Jump to Biv. There we go. That'll work. Back over this way. And I'm just waiting for this one to reappear so I can Engaging send it down this way. Fleet. There's an enemy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know where that is. That's over here. I mean, we can watch our fleet. We haven't seen them in a while. There we go. There, there's our fleet that's heading in there. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, go, go, um, right in at the star. Uh, what's this one? There's a new thing in here. What do I need to vote down now? Uh, Castigation Hathor Nathy Horde. We denounce them. Oh. I support that. Yeah, why not? Lowers their diplomatic weight. Sure. Whatever. Right, there, there's our fleet. It's moving. Colony what is this? Oh, that's an orbital habitat. Well. There, there was a fleet here, wasn't there? I was kind of hoping to see us fight. Oh, there we go. That is quite cool. Let me just slow that down as well. There we go. We, we can go all cinematic with this. So there's our fleet. We zoom out. They're attacking this station over here. See, when you get well, really far in, it is very nice and pretty. You just need to get quite far in to Deploying see it all. Liberation forces. Yeah. I just love this uh, little angle. You've got all of these guys, just... They do not stand a chance at all. It's fantastic. And then we speed it up. And... They are absolutely dead. Just rill riddled with uh, destruction. Okay, right. Uh, back over here. Outside of that world. 
Uh, we have this one, where I really would like you to go get that one. Okay. Okay, you're getting that one over there, back here. Back into cinematic mode. I'm just, like, wondering what we're attacking. Is there another... F there was a fleet here, wasn't there? Oh. That's the fleet. That is their entire fleet. Oh, no. No, get the fleet. You can't let this one leave. Just watching us power up. Yeah. Can they reach the exit point before we get there? Colony conquered. Oh, I don't know if they can. Uh, Citroen absorbers just insulted Technology us. Technology discovered. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, they're in battle. Ooh. They got caught. All right. Head back this way and ca uh, yeah. No, head back this way. Yeah. Let me try that again. Head this way. I guess I have to do, I do have to click that twice. Okay. And that'll work. Okay, cool. Get rid of these. So we successfully invaded. That one, we'll just go for this one. Right. Oh, we can get another one of these. Uh, I don't know. Uh, suppose that I could increase our army morale. Sure. Also give sublight speed, which is kind of useful. Right, so you're done over here. We've conquered... Let me just double check. We have conquered every single one, including this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all conquered over here. Nice. So your move is to move up here. You're already running past. I kind of think I want you to move here then. It's all right. And you... Uh, are also conquered? Or no, you're just about to be conquered. Although it looks like you're already. No, you're just about to be. Okay. That's fine. Okay, uh, where are we? Back over here? Yeah, so you are about to arrive. I'd like you to head into this one and that one if you can. Cool. You are surplus to requirements and can go home. Right. That's been conquered. Okay. Just checking out where we are here. Although I could just leap with this one, I suppose. Yeah, let's just jump over here. That's much quicker. Yeah, jump, then then move. Cool. You're making your way around. It's going to take you 30 days to get there. I have increased uh, sublight speed, so that should help. You're moving over. As we speak. Somewhere has been fully repaired. One of our fleets is in combat. All right, yeah. But not really, though. It appears to have forgotten the second order. That's all right. We'll send you over. This one, minus nine days. What an arrival time. Minus nine Technology days. Technology discovered. That's a good one. Uh, ooh, more, more crops. Let's get more crops. Hey, we're now making 12 uh, food a month above uh, what we needed. Okay, head on in. You know what? Jump here. Yeah, definitely jump there. It's a great idea. Oh, there was already a... F Wait, there's already a fleet there. No, they already got screwed. Yeah, head this way. So they ran into our allies' fleet, and our allies' fleet is also equally as capable of taking them out. They're Ships very large upgraded. ship. An invincible class ship. That's just asking Ships for trouble. Upgraded. That's like saying that something's unsinkable. Ships I mean, it might be upgraded. true, but if you hit an iceberg, it's gonna look pretty bad on you. Ships upgraded. Oh, the invincible Colony class is the name conquered. of the uh, enemy's class of ship. Ships upgraded. Or was that ours? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Uh, are we over here yet? Uh, you. I would like to head over... How long to there? 200 days? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, head there. That way we can jump over if we need to. I don't really want this, this one. I'd like really like it if they'd claim it, to be honest. But that's okay. 
Ships upgraded. Uh, have we got enough to get them to surrender yet? No. And it must be the, the planets in here. Yeah, it's the planets in there. Okay, cool. Uh, well, you can go home. Yep. You can go home. You're already going home. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, now we just need to... Uh, well, yeah, figure out what's... Uh, how are we going to get our navies over here? Not navies, our armies over here. Where are they, Ships anyway? upgraded. So you're 200 days out. Where's our other army? The rest of them we don't care about. Where's this army? 200 days out. Yeah, they're both about the same distance out. Oh, well. Ships nothing upgraded. we can do. Yep. Ships upgraded. Yep, this is all of the ones from our starbase. Ships upgraded. Yeah, that's tech. That's fine. Uh, get rid of those. Ships okay. upgraded. Yeah, ships upgraded. I got it. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Yeah, ships tell me again. Upgraded. Ships upgraded. Double kill. Triple ships kill. Upgraded. That's what that's reminding me of. It's the old Halo announcer. I finally figured it out. Yeah, this one went all the way over here. It's like, well, now ships I've got to go upgraded. all the way back. You are now the Juggernaut. Remember that game mode? That was all I played. Was that it? Was it called Juggernaut? I think it was. Anyway. It was good. Uh, hey, they're fully repaired. Wonderful. How far are you out now? Oh, uh, only 100. How far are you out? 158. Okay. They're both kind of taking the same route via a uh, warp. We probably want to build one of those over here. We seem to have this pro trouble a lot. Although once we've defeated Galactic Bavi, we don't need to build any. So it's kind of like a uh, catch-22. It's, uh, yeah. We, we, we just don't need it anymore. Like, it's easier to build while, um... Like, it's easier to build while we have all the land. But if we have all the land, we don't need to build. Because we have no reason to come over. I suppose the Sidran. So we could maybe build one, like, here. Although we already have one here. So, like, where do I want it? <laughs> we already have one right next door. So I guess I'd want to build one, like, there. As our only, really, our only real option there. Anyway. It's called the Great Wound. I must have noticed that before, but that is an awesome name for one of these. The Great Wound. I'd love it if... So many of these are kind of named kind of weirdly. I'd love it if there was like a name pack that's just like... A barbarian's naming system. So it's like Black Coals. They're Great Wounds. Yeah, the Demon's Maw. I'd love it if everything was named like that. Like some of the systems were just... Uh, labeled like, you know... Boring or something. I don't know. Like, uninteresting. That's it. Just label them purely based on how cool they'd be in a story. Uh, where do we want to jump to? Does this one have planets? Does it indeed have a planet, so we are going to jump there. That should mean that the other one's in range as well. Where's the other one? You're not quite in range, but you're about to be in range. If you go one more, you'll be in range of this one. Which we just need you to get there. Wait, this is ours? Oh, you're returning, I see. That's fine. Yeah, it's 35 days till it moves into the range. Okay, here. Yes, uh, I would like you to... Don't know where ours is. Oh, it's even further out. I see. Oh, it's uh, like uh, it's a twin sun, whatever situation. Okay, I see. That makes sense. Oh wait, I just realized that might be thirty days to the end location, not to the next location. Yeah, it is. Wait, no, no, it's not. Deploying liberation forces. Oh. Yeah, okay, I've realized that this might just be broken. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, maybe it doesn't know what to calculate with the slowed down sublight from the randomly slowed down sublight uh, places. Yeah, like these things that slow down your jumps and things. It just doesn't know how to calculate, maybe. Uh, right, head over here. 
Hey, this one should be nice and simple. We already got rid of one of them. Um, hopefully they'll appreciate us getting these for them. As in uh, United Sahrawi, they will. Conquered. Okay, so that's been taken. This was already theirs. Yeah, head in here and try and get Bath. How many men does Bath have defending? I mean, that's a reasonable number. Here. Go get uh, Lurig Pash, which has zero defenders. Should take you a while. Okay. Landing. Construction complete. Oh, I love as we're landing, they're like, yeah, don't need to bomb it anymore. Insulting Sathrathian Envoy. It appears that mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of the Sathrathian Envoy to Earth, Ulba, so instead of uttering magnanimous platitudes, she began spewing vicious insults that left none unscathed. The manufacturer er, the manufa The malfunction in her equipment was duly uncovered, but not before Admiral So Ka was declared to be a vile bug, a grave insult, which surely calls for a response. And say, how rude, or, well, that was funny. You know what? That was funny. We'll have xenophile ethics attraction. This just seems better in all ways. Pretty much. Synth leader out of commission. Admiral Inidonia suffered a terminal malfunction due to a manufacturing error. Oh. Alright. Deploying liberation well, I don't know what they were leading, but that's okay. I love the bit where they all swarm in and they all swarm out again. Yeah. Actually, they might get there before this one does. As in, they might be able to finish. Probably not, but like, well, maybe. Because all they need to do, right, is get here, go in and go out, and then run over. They'll, they'll probably arrive at Bab, but not that far apart. A time. How close are we to surrender? As a... Yeah, okay. We just have two planets in one system. That kind of lines up with what we got shown here. And then that'll be us with everything. Deploying liberation forces. Oh, do they actually have defenders? They do have defenders. Never mind, that's fine. These guys arrive in Bath. Over here. About to finish with Deploying it. Deploying liberation forces. And that's a victory Colony for us. Conquered. Head over here, land armies. Just go join in. Oh, they will surrender. No, I think we want everything. Yeah. We, we would like everything. As in, we're going to get everything anyway, but I think we'd like to have won every battle as well. The game is not responding. Oh, there we go. Oh, Technology wait. Discovered. Oh, I guess we also... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess we also won. The star nation formerly known as the Cognite Star Realm has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. We admit defeat, but do not think there is anything more than a temporary setback for the Cognite Star Realm. Well, of course I will think it's more than that, because the Federation is on the map. Big letters. Also, I love what's left of, of over here. It's just like, we got these two. All right. Um, guess both of you merge. That's fine. Uh, we're done with that. We're done with that. We're done with that. We have won the war. I'm taking everything. Shield harmonics is done. Get another one. Uh, we have low stability. Okay. Those will be the new ones that we've just taken over here. But yeah, this is all our territory now. Uh, how do you feel, Arastian Syndicate? You think we're strong enough yet? You want to be our protectorate? No, they're even further away because their population is raised and relative empire of em and relative power of empires evens out. All right. Well, I think that's a good point to end the episode with big federation in a font that doesn't scale up to uh, where we're at. I mean, if you have a look at this, look at that. That font does not scale at all. It's so blurry at the edges. What's up with that? Well, I, I, I guess they kind of expected people to have it be this size, not that size. It, I, mm. it kind of shows a design decision in the game, doesn't it? Because it shows you that they expect you to not take over the entire universe. Because in something like Crusader Kings, the font, as far as I can tell, stays pretty alright the whole way through. Here, it's like, 
Hey, it's kind of unreadable, actually, looking at it there. Like, mostly unreadable. It's kind of hideous. But, if it's small, that looks, that looks sleek, that looks cool. I think that's the way it's meant to be. Also, our logo uh, kind of coincides with our name. Look at this. The logo is meant to be above the name, but because our font's too big, it doesn't scale correctly. Like, the logo sh does, should be higher up here, but it's just not doing that. It's interesting. Although, uh, talking about Crusader Kings, EU4, all that sort of stuff, uh, at least these all face the right direction, and you don't have ones that are upside down, ones that are, like, in a U shape. All the names at least stay flat, so I guess they made a decision in how they wanted that to be seen. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.